Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming, and welcome back to the Caves of Good, and welcome back to Joppa before we, uh, where we are before we set out to uh, worship O Glorious Shekinah. At the six day still, we're going to go and pay homage to Shekinah. And we're not actually going to do that. We're just going to go over there and get some free XP and hope we stumble across some useful electronic goods. Um, I don't wish to be lost and explore my surroundings. Thank you very much. Um, let's put our neck ring back on. No, we'll put our, our compass on. I can't remember what it does off the top of my head. No, just fucking look at it. Oh, our chance of becoming lost is reduced. That's what we wanted. And it also gave us 40 reputation with a cult of polymed. Which is a, a great bonus, actually. Um, I want to clean that. Because I don't want it to be tar and... Uh, tar stained. Or anything else that it was. Do you know what? We're just going to wash all of our gear. I hate being dirty in this game. I hate it. The electro bow merely clicks. We got that bad boy in there just in case. Uh, we are going to change it out though. We're going to put on our um, rifle again, I think. Because we don't wish to... Um, oh, I didn't mean to sell the only regular bow I had. That wasn't the plan. We are bleeding for some reason. Um, we were bled. That would be the reason. Uh, we critically hit the natural brute there with our lead slug for 23 damage. Um, it's not what I wanted to do at all. But, you know, sometimes you have no choice in these matters. A painted iron dagger. In uh, 1BR, the gear widened, and the final plague afflicted the land. The Gersh Nephilim rose from their cradles on the moon stair and slouched towards Kud to eat its young. Reshef rose to meet them in battle and cast them back. Nice. We will get that. I'm sure we'll be able to sell it for a few extra pennies than we normally would. Um, this is a fight that we need to do a bit of running away from, I think. Short bow, that's what we want. I'm gonna grab another short bow. Um reload our rifle and carry on about our merry way today. I don't know what the chances of finding um a well priced Barathrum recoiler are gonna be with the low ego that we've got. Um I think that any recoiler we find is gonna cost us around seven hundred. Which is going to absolutely suck, but... I, and I'm going to kick myself, because I, I don't doubt that if I look back, I'm going to oh. find a really obvious way that we could have got in there. Um, but there you go. Some claws would have helped, no doubt. If we had claws to dig through, you know, it would be a different matter here. But alas, that's not the build today. Claws never really works out for me because I get carried away slamming my way through the walls and uh, end up in trouble. And I hate it. The salt desert. We're still lost. Despite our, uh, oh, hang on, we weren't. Maybe we weren't wearing the compass. Maybe I need to keep my mouth shut. Oh, I do love a glow sphere. I do love a floating glow sphere. I don't know why I'm wandering down here looking for trouble. All, all I should be doing is wandering around. 
Get that one dead. Please die. Thank you. Oh, the Gersh don't mind us quite so much now. Should we name our Ashari Sun Veil? We will. We'll, we'll name it from uh, a random name from bloody Ugu Goa Goa Zub, the fearsome snapjaw fire snarler. Yeah, we'll do that. And it will be Dark Magenta. Bo Ufuaba. He didn't have a lot on him. He had a cloth robe covering his uh, his dignity. Well, <laughs> what remains of it now? Hey -o. A wooden buckler, a snapjaw corpse. Quilted shawl. We have taken off the buckler that we previously wore, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, we have a buckler on. I think maybe we should be uh, concentrating more on using our fists and not our not our rifle. Throughout the entirety of 4680ABR, Antixis wreaked havoc on all of the godless quarter of Shud, forcibly relocating the families of birds and arachnids who became known as the Terror of Shud, plus 50 reputation with the cult of Antixis. I don't care for your club, keep it. A lacquered sharp iron long sword. Oh, iron short sword, sorry. Causes bleeding on critical hits. It repels liquids that cannot rust. Plus one penetration. I like it. We're going to take it. We're probably not going to use it. My boar skin gloves are cracked. We would swap the cookery for it, wouldn't we? Let's have a look at what the difference is. Seven and seven. Seven and seven. But it is sharp. That has no bonuses. That has many. It cannot rust, so let's let's carry it. Let's take it. Let's see what can be achieved. We've regained our bearings. And uh, we're gonna venture off over the map again to be safe for a moment um, because I have fears about what may happen we've arrived at the six day stilt let's see if we can make some friends hi there uh, Tassipor disciple of the coiled lamb he is disliked by the second Polymedian society he's hated by the Mapango for some reason no one remembers Uh, brew with me on the life of Rachef, if you are willing. Have you got anything to sell me? And then I might consider sharing my information with you, sir. Um, let's get rid of this and this and this. And this. Anything else? No, we're good. Thanks very much. You, sir. Your your fellow uh, Snapjaws have been quite unpleasant to me on my journey here. Um, that is all. That is all. I don't wish to make a big deal out of it. But. Shrine to Rashef, the above. It depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan. The ghost in Cerulean, the Cord Lama Basil, was died of natural causes. Excellent died of natural causes which is all we can really hope for hello there oh lily heart the hindered pariah am i looking for work i am lovely take a seat chew the bark with me and i will tell you what i know i've heard tell that my ancestral homeland balar is in some kind of trouble they've opened their borders for the first time i know of and are specifically seeking to hire kendron that's their word for outsiders like you would you be willing to go and see what they need i would that's correct i would like to do that i will go to balar as you ask we're going to need to do that because we're going to need to eat some hot and spiny for one. Uh, we're going to need to take on whatever missions we can get until we can access Barathrum. So exploration is key here. 
Hi, how are you? Do you have anything interesting for me? Um, naught at the moment. What do you have in here? Sli a Matt's slime pancake. Um, we don't, we don't have, do you know what? We don't have a single book yet. We've not stumbled across a single bookshelf. What have you got? Trash. I don't want any of your trash. I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. But today is not that point. Right this moment is not the point at which I need your trash, sir. Hi, how are you? Tiny trinkets and stuff. Cloning draft. As much as I would love to clone the heck out of everything I uh, encounter, um, I don't have the money for it. Whoa, chilly today. A library? Is this a library? The Corpus Choilus. Do you know what? I think we might grab a copy of it now. Mm, it comes up though, doesn't it? It does come up. Do you know what? If we grab it now, then we know we've got it. It does cost 100. Ooh, that's a difficult one to let go of. I'm, I'm, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it for some reason. We're going to need it and we won't be able to get it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just do it. Just buy it. What else you can spend your money on? Recoilers. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> not while we need a, bar a Barath from Recoiler. Definitely not. A Dromad Caravan. It's in the circuitry to do so. Do any of you guys have uh, trade goods, please? Do you have aught of trade? Sir, kind sir. Some gemstones. Marvellous. You have the same stuff as everybody else. Where is Modromad? Hello. Um, I might well take up a crystal shard mail. Nice. A partial mono matter assembly. A small piece of scrap. Marvellous. The Taco Suprema sounds mm, delicious. I've got a feeling that even if that no, because I'm pretty no, no, we uh there was a um what's it called? The crafting recipe for a recoiler, but not a recoiler. The long and short of it was we need to find a way into Barathrum, so um whatever way that might be. Is there something wrong, mate? Are you a stoic long necked man camel? Are you being attacked? You seem to be exhorting quite rapidly. I have concerns for your safety, but you will not ask for help. Alas, I cannot. Oh, I do like a beehive. I forgot about the beehives. Um, not today. We don't need it. Not today. The, somebody's attacking this Dromad, I think. He seems to be charging headlong away from everybody. Okay, I think maybe what we're going to have to do is um, not run into the brambles. Is a good is a good way to go. Don't run into brambles. That's a beekeeper, David. That's where you've already looked. Um. We're going to have to naff off to Baylar, aren't we? And, um... I've done it again. What's the matter with you, you pillock? Hello, sir. Do you have any nice hats? I can't wear any hats because i got horns. I just like to look at them. I like to long for the day where one might not have horns upon his head. And 
Ed may be able to wear a hat. That day is not today. Hmm. Okay. It's, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little disappointed that um, I couldn't find what I was looking for. But we will not waste any more time doing that. Is this Balar over here? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chip off the Balar and try and help the people of Balar with their problem. And we're gonna walk through it today. Hello there. I I need the mimic gone, please. Is it gone now? Hello. So we've arrived in Baylar. Let's have a look around. Um, we will speak. Will you talk to me? The Warden's gaze is distant. Oh, a shield. It's been a while since we've played shields. Let's go and speak to the uh, leader of Baylar. Kindrich. Okay. Heinrich Kerr. Live and drink, Kendron. I am Hendrich Kerr. Welcome to Baylar. It's nearly unprecedented for one such as you to pass by our scouts unaccosted, but these are unprecedented circumstances. I have a task for you. Are you interested? Yes, go on. We Hindren are a close-knit and stayed people, and our safety depends on our solidarity. In order to preserve our safety and culture, we ask that any of our number who leave us never come back. Recently, one such exile took the treasure of, it, of our village, a bracelet named Kindrish, with her when she left. None of our number can leave to get it back, or it will be a violation of the values I have guarded, and the Hindriarchs before me for countless generations. Will you help us recover our treasure? We have a small cache of valuables we can offer as a reward. Okie dokie, I'll find it. Thanks very much. Uh, then... Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. The exile who stole Kindrish is called Eshkine. She left a few weeks ago and, left, and took her brother and sister, sister with her. I don't know where she's gone, but Warden Neerhind might, as they were close friends as children. I'll have a look for you and see what I can come up with. Warden, don't run away. Hello, Warden Neerhind? Hindriarch Ke told me you were once friends with Eshkind. We were, yes, we were close. I can scarcely believe that she would be capable of doing such a thing, stealing our greatest treasure. Eshkind wouldn't possibly, but if Grand So says it, it must be so. Do you know where she might have gone? Uh, yeah, Esk and I had a place. There's a path to the north, uh, to the west that leads to the remains of a lightning-struck tree made hollow by the fire from above. It was the furthest from the village either of us had ever, be ever been until I attended my first warden's moot. She and I would spend time there back then. Perhaps she is there now, but I don't dare check. I'll have a look for you. So we're going to wander off to the west here, out of town. Are there, are there multiple mimics that are causing havoc in this town? Stuff is gone awry. Um, we should probably eat before we do that. Mala soup. When we, whenever we drink fresh water, there's a twenty-five percent chance we become immune to fear for six hours, if only. I don't wish to be chased by explody flowers. Thanks very much. We will follow the path to the west and see where it takes us. I imagine it will take us west. I imagine it will lead us to some bloody goats who are going to mess my day up. Or bears. Hi, pig. We actually landed that shot. See you later, pig. We're looking forward to coming back over, over these corpses at some point. Um, let me back up a second. I'm going to run away and... Uh, hang on. Do we use our... Um, sprint then bear with bear with do 
Do we want to bind it to Sprint? Yeah, yeah I do. Come on, take him out. Thank you. I do like skunks. I need, do you know what? If we had a high ego, getting skunks on board would be nice. Come over. I'm going to flurry you in the face. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen an irritable tortoise die quite so quickly as that. Iron dagger and a Nefertali corpse. Let's run these guys back through the, uh, the skunk fields, maybe. Come on over. Come on over. Keep them on the uh, the cusp of the map. Might be able to um, keep them at bay a little bit. The ne Nefertali Forager misses you with her club. That's fine with me. Come on over, boys. Any more of you? Hang on. Are you the big man? T Topku, the rusted idol of Locke. Right, so we are now going to switch over to our... Electro bow for the purposes of destroying these guys. I really enjoy these guys. They make <gasps> Come on over, come on over, come on over. The rusted idol of Locke misses you with their steel vine reaper. Let's have a look at them. What sort of condition are they in? They're fine. They're average, they're hostile. Adrenaline flow in. Adrenaline flow in. Flurry you in the face. Lightly damaged. Right. Robots quite like them. So killing top coups is, is really going to mess our day up. We took out one of her followers there. Oh, she's dead. We're now despised by robots, but the, the reputation of the cult of polymer has increased, and with insects, and with oozes. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Is there anything here we can pick up? Yes, a really good book. Either way, we achieved. We achieved. we are what level are we level 11 let's put our adrenal control up a bit more oh and it's increased by three due to oh hang on is that saying it did increase by three i may not advance it yet Why? Okay. I have a fundamental misunderstanding about what's happening there. So maybe we're going to have to buy a new mutation in order to use our points. Uh, we can remove our electro bow for the moment and pop on our regular bow, I think. And we will go wooden arrows and we'll try and take out some of these boys. Oh, come on. Did you blow up that book? You... Heard. Get away. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you attacking? Oh, dogs don't like me, do they? Now, hang on. Why do dogs not like me? I'm thoroughly likable. They, they, they do. They must be annoyed about something else. <sighs> it's not my problem, is it? Right then. Um, hi, who are you? The Chromeling. What have you got? Nothing. Go away. Cheers. You don't like me. Yeah. Yeah, I... 
I didn't want that happening because you would have come in really handy at some point, wouldn't you? That's really going to have messed my day up. Another place I don't want to be, no doubt. Another place. Some engraved leather moccasins. What do they say upon them? Plus 60 reputation of the cult of the coiled lamb. Very insightful. Very insightful. I'm getting carried away with the uh, numpad holding is um, a bad idea. I don't recommend it. Go away, piggy. Some feathered furs. I don't know why I picked it up. Didn't mean to. Press it by mistake. Gonna keep it. Just rinse our way through all of the uh, snap jewels in the area. No problem. I would very much like to find where we were meant to have been going though, because we seem to have lost lost our way somewhat, haven't we? Don't need a water skin. I think we've got plenty of water skins. Nothing exciting in the hands of these snap jaws. How about you? A point a painted quilted shawl. On an expedition around the icicle worshipping Kator uh, sorry, quarter of Tezor, Ixes was captured by bandits. She languished in captivity for six years, eventually escaping to Mibapur Steeple. Plus forty reputation with the indigo ghost coat kinfolk. Nice. I don't need to carry it though. And what does your sword say? A dusk under the strange and cyan sky, the people of Curded the Cursed Marsh saw an image on the horizon that looked like a gemstone bait. I think we've read that before, haven't we? Yeah, we have. The feral dog dies. Uh, this doesn't feel... Oh, it could well be. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm talking rubbish. What kind of wall is this? Charred wood. Nice. Something has happened here. Get to buggery. Any interesting items around? What is this? What is this? A crumpled sheet of paper. A, a, a note. Or, or received a new quest. Love and fear. Let's read that. Return the love sonnet. Give the crumpled sheet of paper to the author or intended recipient. How would I possibly know who that is? By looking at it, the sheet of brine stalk pulp paper is covered in a shanky, uh, shaky ink scrawl. It looks like it's been crumpled and uncrumpled many times. Um, I'll mark that as important. Okay. How will I know? How will I know? Hello. If you've nothing you need of me, Kendron. I'd just as soon hold my peace. Does this poem belong to you? No, that's kind of wrote that, but I thought she burned it. If you return it to anyone, you should return it to her. Um, hi, I'm Narf. Uh, Andriarch K sent me. I'm shocked that she even deigned to speak my name. I'm a pariah now, beneath discussion. Does she demand re remuneration for the scant supplies I stole? Uh, she stole. The, it says that you stole Kindrish, the village's treasure. Is that her angle? To claim that I stole Kindrish? Her influence must be waning more than I ever knew. That you claim innocence? Yes, I am falsely accused. See, Balar strives to forget anyone who seeks the outside. The gerontocracy ensures that its leaders will always be aging and fearful. Pariahs like me can be easily ac uh, accused of crimes committed by Kat or her cronies. You think Kat stole the treasure? Aye, you Kendron are just as thick as the elders. I'd hoped otherwise. 
yes, I'm suggesting the Grando is trying to fool you and the village as well. I'm not certain she stole it herself, but an investigation might undermine her authority, and she cannot have that. The proof is in the petals, Kendron. You want justice? Find out what really happened. If you find evidence, Warden Nina Hind will support you. Speak to her. She is loyal to Grando, but more loyal to the truth. I will return to the village and we will sort this out. I will live and drink. Um, does this poem belong to you? No, Eskine wrote that, but I thought she burned it. You should give that to Nina Hind. It was supposed to go to Nina Hind. I thought it might. I thought it might have been. So uh, let's go and do that. And we're going to walk back this way because I don't want to go through that again. Uh, we'll come back to you. Hi. Hi. Eskheim claims to be wrongfully accused. The prior claims to be wrongfully accused and you believe her? She is obviously lying. Are all Kendrin so gullible? There is no proof that she is lying. Fine. Go to the warden then and have her solve this mystery. But know this. Until a thief is that found and Kindrish is recovered, I cannot reward you. And you get nothing. Live and drink, my friend. Yeah, that didn't sound like a very nice thing to be saying to me, to be perfectly honest with you. Who are you? I'm Kichan, protector of Hydriarch Keh, the Grand Doe of Baylar. May I ask you some questions? You may not. Let's have a look at you. <coughs> Excuse me. Muscle and hide, a face fixed in an unthinking glare and a weapon upon his hip. His face fur aligns itself along the edges of his square-jawed scowl. You might feel guilty for thinking this Hindran a rank thug were he not so clearly enamoured of the role. He's wearing leather armour, weird artefact, uh, chain gauntlets and leather boots. What is this? This leather bracer is striated with streaks of blood-dried salt, or dried body salt, sorry, the marks of heavy use. This bracer is heavily worn, but surprisingly clean. We note that in our book of something, of lore. A ripped leather bracer, it frays where it was ripped open. It's seen some use, why is it out here? We write this piece of information in our gossip and lore section. So we're going to skip about town. For those who don't in the don't in the know, and um, we'll f look for some evidence about um, who might have stolen the missing items. What is this? There is a spot of blood here, a bat corpse. That's of no interest. What about this? Scratched copper nugget. Copper was crushed into a nugget and picked from its natural deposit. It's bisected by a scratch. I will pick that up though, so uh, cheers for that. What else have we got lying around? Just some seeds and stuff, nobody's really interested in that, no? Um, Eskine claims to be wrongfully accused. Oh, but what now? You're the warden, you tell me. I don't know, Grande usually resolves Baylar's disputes. I'm present to defuse violence, or keep the peace through the, rest, through the threat of it. What do you think? We will investigate and find the truth. Oh, well, yes, that's a good idea. You'll help, right? My axe arm and conviction are strong, but the deduction has never been my greatest strength. I can answer some questions about the people in town, if that would be helpful. Um, it would. Can you answer some questions now? Can you tell me about Hindriarch Kerr? She's wise and very careful, which makes up for her lack of strength or tact. She always knows what's right, and she runs a very tight shift. She hates clutter from work like nothing else and cleans up any mess she makes unless it's a spill. Then she makes Keyshine do it. It's because Grand Doe has a terrible fear of standing pools of water, refusing to touch them. Copper and bronze afflict her with allergy sores and she can't seem, she can't touch them. She's too old to spar with me, but her bow arm still aims true. That's all I can think of. I have another question. What can you tell me about Eskind? She's a good person with strong convictions, or has always seemed so. I suppose that isn't helpful. Esk has a good eye for detail. She hates water vine as much, so much that she avoids the paddies and won't eat mats without lar broth to make it taste better. She's afraid of salt back. She's good at foraging and terrible at crafting. What about Keyshind? He's completely loyal to Grando. We used to be friends, but his disposition has become so sour since he was appointed as her, her protector, and he's quite cold to me now. 
He can't see well in darkness. He's a holder of Ari, an unbreakable heirloom fire axe, and he's very skilled with it. He's terribly f finicky about food. He'll only eat bland food and meat, and oh, once he had a bad cough as a fawndron. A caretaker tried to feed him yuck wheat, and he kicked her so hard it dos dislocated her jaw. What about the outsiders? Not very much. The only Kendron who were allowed in the village before you were traders, and it's always a very big fuss when one comes by. Must have been a while since that happened, though. So any Kendron who have visited must have come in secret. I should return to my investigation. I believe this po Should we save the poem for now? Are you sure this is for me? Yes, please read it. Eshkine wrote this about me. How my head swims at, swims at these lavish words. If she wrote this and meant it for me, she must love me. But it can't be, can it? Can't it? Kendra, you must understand. I spent so many years trying in vain to fall out of love with Ashkind. I thought it the only way to endure our adolescence, watching her poor attempts at courtship with other Hindren. I thought it the only way to endure her departure as well. But she has returned and she loves me. Ava, I am terrified to speak to her of this, but I must. Will this affect the uh, investigation? No. You are the one investigating, so my bias need not enter play. If you determine that Eshkind is guilty, I will heed your word and carry out a just sentence. After that, I'm not sure. Marvellous. Excuse me. You still only have a shield. I don't know why I looked again. Who are you and what do you want? You have ashes and a vine wafer. Uh, I will look at you. Nothing interesting. There's blood spots all over this town, isn't there? That's a dead dog. There may be some more stuff around the village. Let's have a quick look. We need to talk to some villagers, don't we? Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? By the eaters, how prosperous we've been. I've never seen the village so flush with fresh water. Hmm. We'll just ruminate amongst these plants. I wonder if we can uh, stumble across anything of use, like some la petals, maybe? Cheers. Hi. Have you seen or heard anything peculiar? I came across some Kendron who claimed to be treasure hunters. They said that they would pay good water for unique artifacts or treasures. Excellent. I will note that down in my journal. I heard that someone in the village might have a sore throat, so I'm staying at least 10 hands bad away from everyone today. Abandoned in a tucked away hut on Baylar's outskirts, this enormous statue of Hornsfell languishes under a layer of withered vegetation. It depicts a majestic deer with one hoof raised from the ground, its human-like eyes judging its surroundings and finding them wanting. The metal plaque on the base of the statue hasn't fared well over the years, and the only glyphs you can make out are K, R, S, and H. Have you got anything to tell me? No. Have you got anything to tell me? No. Have you got anything to tell me? No. What about you? You're a bit useless. Leather scraps were cut from a wider swath for some unknown leatherworking project. Hi, have you got any... You know Auntie Eskine's little sister, Lilyheart? She's always been quiet, but she didn't talk at all for like two whole weeks before they left. Hmm, okay. You've finished the quest. Discover all the evidence. Hello. Uh, do, 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 do. How are you and S kind? Oh, I'm so happy. I can scarcely believe she loves me much less that. That we could be together, but it's true. Wherever we go from now on, we go together. All lithe muscle and attentive vigilance, Nilahind becomes her occupation as the Warden of Baylar. She wears an adapted suit of plate armour, its folds draping over her strong flanks, but her brown eyes betray another truth. Inside the body of this stout warrior hides an anxious and fearful foundron. Yes, I'm ready to accuse. I found a few scraps from some leatherworking project, a sign of recent craft. 
Signs of craft seemingly hidden from the village, but that can't be your only evidence. I found a worn-out bracer, a ban a bracer abandoned near Keyshine's bedroll. Yes, this, this does indicate some kind of craft transpired, and Kisa Hind is trying to hide it. Let me ponder more. Someone dropped a copper nugget on the path, a sign of recent trade. Signs of trade seemingly hidden for the village. Rumour has it that the village is flush with water, perhaps because care made a big trade. Copper causes Grando to break out in great welts. She would not have traded for it. And if she saw a trader drop it, surely she would have told him to pick it up. She hates mess. So it isn't her. Dun dun dun. The villagers are on edge due to some rumours of sore throats in the village indicating recent illness. Signs of illness seemingly hidden from the village, but there can't be your only evidence. What? I have questions for you. Who is your bodyguard? Keyshine is a good boy. He lost his parents long ago, but he's been like a son to me. Now his axe arm is strong where mine is not, so he lends it. Is Nilahind a good warden? Nilahind attends her duties admirably, but she's not terribly assertive. But she needs not be. I'm surprised she's going along with the outsider-led investigation, but she has already had a soft spot for the exile. Why did you tell me... Uh, Nina Hind has a brother. If you ask the exile, I'm sure she'll spin some kind of accusation that I believe gender to be an immutable prison that I impose it on others. She's lying. Excuse me. She's lying. Our people have a long history of two gender hindering called heartened. Respected and consecrated, there is a proper path to gender variance in our society, of which the male exile could have availed himself years ago. He never did, so I do not recognize him. That's not nice. Why was Eskind exiled? She exiled herself by leaving Balar. Our codes demand that no Hindran who leaves us ever return. She knew this, and still she chose to leave. Have you seen anything? Have you seen anything? Hmm. Uh, I... I May I ask you some questions? Tell me about your family. What's to tell? We are outcasts, pushed by, to the margins by our people for the crime of harmless deviance. It's beyond perverse to call us back, just so Grando can punish us further. I was told that Eskind has a brother. Where is he? Mayhan casts a withering glare for an extended moment, then whirls and walks away quickly. Oh dear. With cause defence. May I ask you some questions? I said, may I ask you some questions? Are you not partial to talking? I'm trying to exonerate your sister. Can you help? Eskind didn't do it. That's all I know. I mind my business. How are things with Nilahind? Things are good, better than I dreamed. I owe you so much for your intervention, Narf. I still can't quite believe that my feelings are requited. I am at once elated and terrified, but this is good. My future is brighter now. Who might have stolen Kindrish? The Hindriarch is the most likely suspect, in my opinion. She might have kept it for herself or sold it. I've been suspicious of her pet bodyguard, Keyshine, for years. I wouldn't put it past him to steal the treasure himself. That said, it might have been an outsider like you. I doubt any of the villagers had the nerve to steal such a valuable object, but I suppose it's faintly possible. But it wasn't Nilahind. You won't find a purer heart in all of Cud than hers. Hmm. What evidence should I be looking for? Objects out of place, Baylar produces little and sees almost no violence, so signs of the outside world should be easy to find. Why did you leave? Why did I leave a single Parasang square piece of land upon which I was expected to live my entire life, forever obeying a woman whose sole qualification of rule is her gender and age? 
Why did I leave a place where we eat the same damn soup for 9 out of 10 meals and the height of occupational versatility is leatherworking? The question isn't why I left. It's why I'm the only one who chose to do so. Why none of my pleas were convincing to the hindrance I love. If we would just open the borders, it would have never come to this. Hmm. I think we just need to accuse someone then, right? And who should it be? I'm ready to make an accusation. Oh, come on. Let me accuse somebody. My goodness. Are we accusing Eskind? I can't remember. The Keesind. Keesind. Keesind, I think. He said, yes, by conceding craft, it was Keyshine who stole Kendrish. The evidence is clear. Eskine did not steal Kendrish. The crime was committed by none other than the Grandos' protector, Keyshine. He will be stripped of the ancestral axe he carries, stripped of, his, stripped of his property and stripped from the oral histories. Never will his name be spoken here again, and he will never return on pain of death. Moreover, Kerr's attempt to pin blame on Eskine without due process opened my eyes to her abuses of power. She need not leave Balar, but she is Keyshine once more, stripped of her title and standing. As for the Hindriarchy, Eshkind will act as an interim leader until we figure out what to do next. As a people, may Hindriarch-esque lead us to a brighter future. Okie dokie. Oh, we receive plate armor. Uh, an energy relay, processing core, cracked robotics. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, we our uh, reputation increased to zero. <laughs> Good. Who will dislike you? Nobody. Nobody. Everybody loves you, as do I. You wonderful, wonderful person. I like shield. We don't need shield currently. Hindriarch esque. Who dislikes you? Nobody. Cool. Mela soup. Who are you? You will not trade. You you have nout that I need, do you? But then arrows are good. It only costs us two drams and a single shotgun shell. I will take it. Um, did she leave? Did she leave? I, I don't, I don't know where she is. I was hoping that we might be able to steal some goods from somebody. Like a big flaming axe. I don't want to learn shield. I don't need shield. We're not going to be a shield user today. I should have kept them apart. I should have kept all of you apart. Steel arrows. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We have solved the mysteries of Balar. And on that note... It's time to leave, Baylar. And it's time to say goodbye to Kud for the day. I've been Arsenic Candy Gaming. You've been marvellous as always. Thanks very much for joining us on this episode. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps push us forward so other people see our videos. And uh, 
take us one step closer to title domination. I hope you have a great day. Take care now. And bye-bye.